Dwayne Haskins was picked 15th overall in the 2019 NFL Draft. He plays quarterback for the Washington Redskins. And I dove in. I watched every single game he played in last year because I wanted to find out what does the film say about Dwayne Haskins. First of all, what I saw was that his rookie year last year was a mess. Before becoming the full-time starter, he was thrown into the middle of a game, not once, but twice. He was put into bad situations, and there had to have been pressure from the owner, Daniel Snyder. Week four, he was put in down 14 in the second quarter against the Giants. He had three interceptions, and he just did not look ready. Then again, he was thrown to the Wolves week eight against the Vikings. He went three for five and had another interception. And it's just not entirely fair to judge Dwayne Haskins off of last year. You know, there are a few small things you can take away about Dwayne as a player. But he was a rookie quarterback, which first of all is always tough. Every rookie QB situation is unique and needs to be treated that way. But he also had a coaching change midseason, a lot of turmoil. And there wasn't a lot of great talent around him. The offensive line had problems. The receivers weren't all great. He had one standout weapon, rookie receiver Terry McLaurin. But that's about it. And that situation hurt Dwayne Haskins. Now, watching film made one thing very clear. Dwayne Haskins is not incredibly talented. You know, when you watch Kyler Murray... He makes eye-popping plays. Kyler Murray does stuff that grabs your attention. Great throws into tight windows. Or, you know, if a pass rusher comes free, Kyler can make him miss and extend a play. On the other hand, Dwayne Haskins doesn't have that same get-out-of-jail-free card. He's not as physically gifted. Kyler Murray has a cannon. He can afford to be a little bit late. Dwayne Haskins does not have that luxury. Of the quarterbacks drafted in the last three draft classes, of the guys drafted to be franchise quarterbacks, Dwayne Haskins is the least talented. He has an average arm, and he's not much of a threat to run the football. Now, that's not the worst thing ever. Remember, Tom Brady and Drew Brees are not crazy talented athletes either. And they became legends and Hall of Famers because of the little things they do right. But Dwayne Haskins' margin for error is really low. He can't afford to leave a pass behind a receiver. His ball location needs to be perfect. He needs to have impeccable timing. And he needs to have a deep understanding of NFL defenses. The road might be harder for Dwayne Haskins because he can't lean on natural talent. When you put on the tape, you see a lot of stuff that needs to be worked on. You see a lot of inaccurate throws. You can see that he struggled to throw the ball accurately downfield. This is brutal, but he also honestly needs to learn some self-awareness about his athletic ability. He's not a dual-threat quarterback. He needs to stop trying to run and learn to play from within the pocket. Now, I'm okay with his mistakes. There was a lot of turmoil going on around Dwayne Haskins last year. He's got a new coach this year, a fresh start, and more of a fair chance. But if he wants to make it, he's going to have to be incredibly detail-oriented, and master everything he can control. Now, I will say, I like his footwork in the pocket. He looks like he's doing Elite 11 drills during games, and that's awesome. It seems like he does a lot of work on his own. But his decision-making and his ability to process defenses needs to get better. There are moments where receivers are open, and he just doesn't see it. I'm not sure what he's looking at. There's a third and five in the red zone where his receiver does a short motion. And the Jets defender chasing him can't work through the mess to follow the receiver. But Haskins doesn't see it at all. Dwayne Haskins isn't hopeless, but he's got a lot to clean up. Literally everything, accuracy, decision making, timing, all the above. A lot of the time he got lucky to have such a good receiver like Terry McLaurin bailing him out of some iffy throws. Not everything I saw was bad, though. There are some good throws on tape. And if he does the work to get better, Dwayne Haskins could make it. Now, one of the things I do like that he does is that if you give him an easy completion underneath, he will take it every single time, and that's a good quality. He's very patient. 
Drew Brees and Tom Brady are the exact same way. You really don't need to be some unbelievably gifted athlete to make it in the NFL as a quarterback. But you've got to do the little things right. Now, I want to offer a potential future for Dwayne Haskins. I've got some film of Drew Brees. And the situation here is that it's week one. The Saints have the ball. They're down one point, losing 27 to 28. The ball is on their own 25-yard line, and they've got one timeout. The drive starts with a dig to Ted Ginn Jr. 15 yards, really nothing outrageous, just a good, accurate throw on time. The Saints spike the ball. They've got 20 seconds left. The next play is an out route to Michael Thomas. 11-yard gain. Again, this isn't some insane, impossible throw. It simply drew understanding the weakness in the defense. The Saints spike the ball again. Now there are six seconds left. The next play is just a simple curl route. Nine-yard gain. Bang. The ball is at the 40-yard line. The Saints use their final timeout. And they kick a 58-yard field goal to win the game. Dwayne Haskins can make every single throw Drew Brees just made. It's okay that Dwayne isn't the strongest or the fastest or even the most talented. Moving forward, he just needs to be accurate, have good timing, and master defenses. It's not as simple as it sounds. It's a lot. But Dwayne Haskins is capable of becoming the franchise quarterback in Washington. 